Good morning and welcome back to another edition of More Bad News, brought to you as always by Camel Cigarettes. We're going to release these things in a, in a couple uh, short pieces today. And this is Sunday morning and I wanted to actually introduce you to the way I greet every day, mostly except for Shabbos when I don't wear my uh, talis, my tefillin. Um, and uh, it's it, uh, there's a there's a, a scroll in here, uh, and I can I can actually show you what's in the scroll here. I have it. Happen to have it. Um, here, it's um, this is this is a copy of what's on my door post uh, in my mezuzah, but it's a it's a handwritten piece of uh, the Torah, the Shema, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart. And this is a few paragraphs in there. And then they're put into this box and they're sealed in the box in a way that you can not access them. So uh, you have a scroll that you cannot read that's sealed in a black box. Uh, and instead of reading it, you put it on your head every day. Slowly, the material, the, the the words that are in the box descend into your head or something. I, okay, it doesn't it doesn't make a lot of sense. It, but the fact is we've been doing it for they found these in the you know in the Qumran caves over two thousand years at least, you know, probably more than that. But there it is. This is what we've been doing. We've been taking scrolls and putting them in little black boxes and sealing them up so that you can't read them and then putting them on our heads. And because we've got one more on our arm here. Um, and uh, I don't know, it works, it works. What can I say? So I wanted to uh, start off uh, by um, just saying something about um, happiness, uh, which I don't usually talk about on the show, but I am a happy person. Uh, in fact, I'm happier than I have ever been in my life. Uh, I, b before I was retired, uh, I had all kinds of anxieties and worries. I mean, I was director of the Shaw Archive Project, which I had gotten off the ground. And it was just, I had uh, meetings and presentations and programs. You don't know what that can do to your stomach and to your, you know, and to your sleep and to your body. It's really, that wasn't fun. I wasn't happy then. I was doing something for a reason, for a cause, for a purpose. But it was, I was paying for it. Uh, I Now I'm happy. I really am happy. I have no more anxiety worries. I'm not planning anything, doing anything, going anywhere. So uh, I'm happy because I'm satisfied with my life. I'm happy because I'm satisfied with my accomplishments. I'm satisfied with my career. Uh, I own my own home and I own my own car. I have a few dollars in the bank. I'm in good health. Uh, I exercise every day. I sleep well and eat well. I have no anxiety. Uh, I have almost no anger. Uh, um, uh, I have a wonderful partner uh, in life. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, all my life I've been driven. Uh, I've been working, as I said, you know, as a, a warrior fighting for causes and battles for justice and, you know, uh, uh, and that's all over now. Now I'm retired. And so this is the way I start every day. And then after this, I'm going to go sit down uh, on my couch and go over today's uh, two pages, two sides of one page of Gemara and from, uh, 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 from Sota. We're almost done with it. Uh, and, and we're studying uh, the laws of Egla Arufa, which is uh, when you find a, a corpse between two towns. Uh, the you have to go measure uh, w what's the closest town to the to the corpse that you found, and that town has to uh, bring an offering uh, to expiate the sin because somebody died on your watch and somebody died within the reach of your town, and th that's a horrible, horrible, horrible thing. One person dying anywhere within the distance of your town. I don't know. Those were the days. Um, so I'm going to go and finish that up, and then I'll be back later with uh, some more uh, bad news. But believe me, there's there's bad news to talk about, but I'll leave that for later. 